I think, uh, I think we're ready. Let's see if we can kick this off. Made a few adjustments to some settings. We got Twitch going, Facebook Live going. Everybody, I'm Jeff Anderson, Boardroom Gamer. And I just gotta get my chat set up here on the side. And hopefully we can get uh, off and running. Let's take a look. Let's take a look and see if I can see what I need to see. Here and put Twitch here for any questions you guys might have. This is Villages of Valeria. Um, you're creating a village. You start with your main building. I misplaced my main building. Uh, yes, I have. You start with your main building here. Um, it produces a wild resource. And you can, there's four resources in the game. There's wood, stone, magic, and food. And from those, you use the resource, uh, resources and coins to build buildings. You use buildings to attract these adventurers. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most victory points from their buildings and adventurers is picked to host the new capital city of Valeria. So, um... There we go, found it. On Twitch it's running, and now I'm just having a problem with... May or may not be having a problem with Facebook. Again, last time it seemed like it didn't have a problem with Facebook, but I thought it had a problem with Facebook. So anyhow, the solo rules are as such. During my turn, I can draw three cards, um, but not past eight cards. I can trash a card to add a card uh, to my castle as a resource. The bottom of the cards here show resources that you can get for gold. Uh, start the game with uh, three gold in my pile, I believe. And then um, build, provide resources to add a building to my village, then draw one card. Uh, after build is recruit, pay two gold, and add an adventurer to my village. So I'm going to put the adventurers up here. Here's a rogue, an archer, a warlord, a necromancer, and a thief. Now, I don't know why you would want a necromancer in your village, but apparently they have their uses. So who am I to argue that? Okay. So here goes. Um, the game ends. Oh, what's the game end trigger for uh, when the building deck runs out? When this deck right here runs out, this game will end. So I need to kind of time that with um, my money and my victory points and so on and so forth. So it looks like I am able to get on Facebook here live. So I hope you guys are able to join me there. Um, let's take a look. Sorry guys, I was having super technical difficulties right before the stream, of course, like I tried to set up 30 minutes prior and it was still hating. Okay, it's going to do what it's going to do. I just can't frustrate, it'll frustrate me if I try to keep messing with it. All right, um, so here we go. First thing I want to do, oh, you get to develop a resource for free at the beginning of the game. That I do know. So I'm going to develop hmm, magic stone or wood. Um, or food, for that matter. I'm going to do stone. Stone. So this now produces stone and then one wild resource. So... That's the start of the game. I'm set up. Now do I want to harvest? Yes, I have five cards. I want to harvest. Draw three. So what you can do to draw three is you can take 
from here, you can take from here. I'm going to take, I think I'm gonna take the archery range for one, immediate relief. He immediately refills. Um, I need a wood resource, so I'm gonna take this as number two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Um, I don't really need any more resources, so I'll take something that's really kind of hard to I'll develop to get an extra coin. Um, build, you get an extra magic. Recruit, you get two extra cards. I'm going to take this one as my third. Okay, so that was my first action. Next action. So I'm already down, like this, this only started with 35 cards. I'm already down three, so it's down to 32. So the clock is actually ticking. Um, so how, what do I want to do next? I think I should develop another resource here. So now I'm going to develop. I'm going to develop. Where is that wood that I got? Trash a card in my hand to add a card. Oh, shoot. I forgot all about that. Okay, trash a card in my hand, which means I have to get rid of it, like throw it out of the game, to add a card as a resource. That's my little reminder here. <clears throat> now, I want to build a card. I'm going to build the archery range. It costs one wood. I'm going to just use the wood icon for that, building the archery range. Okay, so now I have an archery range. To recruit these adventurers, by the way, I have to have the number of buildings that's located on their icons. Like this is two military buildings. This is a military and a merchant building. This is two thieves buildings for the rogue, two thieves buildings for the thief. I have one military building right now. So that's kind of how that works. Um, so at the end of that turn, um, the beginning of this turn, I slide this coin here and I can't have it until next turn. I don't have access to that coin. This turn, I can build the barracks. Oh, real quick. The lightning bolt. It means when I put it in play, I get to do something. Uh, and it's draw three cards. So I'm going to draw the cloister, the holy shrine, and the hideout. And I'm up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm good with my hand size. Now, next turn, slide that over. I don't have access to that gold coin yet. Um, and I was going to build a thing. I'm going to build a barracks. So the build phase says, provide resources to add a building to my village, then draw a card. Um, so I'm going to have this gold be a stone and this gold be a food to develop my barracks. Um, then draw one card. Drawing a card for this action is required. So I have to draw a card, which, as you know, makes this deck run out <clears throat> faster and faster. Um, so I'll draw, I'll draw the farm because I need more merchant buildings for the archer here. Okay, next turn I get this coin back, these slide over. Now I'm gonna tax. To tax, I trash a card to gain a gold. I am really, really gold uh, hurting right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to trash the inn and gain one gold. That was that turn. Next turn, I get to take these off. And now I'm gonna recruit, pay two gold. Now this hurts, you actually pay two gold to the bank to add an adventurer to my village. I'm going to add this um, warlord to my village. His ability is when I build, I get an extra wild as long as I'm building a military building. I don't have any more military build. Well, there's a military building here, so I could do that. I'd have to develop or harvest, which is draw three cards. 
I have seven cards right now. So what I want to do is to, I want to um, develop, I want to add a card as a resource. I want to put this, um, where's the one that gave me food? No, I want to build a card. I'm going to build the hideout. It's a rogue house, so I can put the thief and the rogue in my village. Um, so that's that turn. It's going to slide. Oh, recruit. Add an, yeah, okay. I don't have to uh, draw a card for that. Next turn, that slides over. I'm going to... What am I going to do here? Two, three, four, five, six. I have six cards. And I think I'm going to... I'm going to tax again, which is... Well, this is going to get rough. You know what? Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to harvest. Draw three cards. Now I only get to draw two. One, because I have a hand limit of eight. I don't like what I'm seeing out there. I'm still looking for a military building. Oh, here's a military. Two. So. Okay. Next turn, I get to claim this gold. And now I want to tax. Want to tax, want to tax, want to tax. What to get rid of, though? Um, oh, you can only have one of the same name, so I might as well ditch the hideout that I drew and gain one gold. Uh, next turn, I'm going to build. So what am I going to do? Was I going to build? I feel like I was going to build. Um, encampment. So I'm going to build an encampment. It's a, it's a military building, so I get a free wild, so I'll use that as a food, and I'll put this on the food. I get to play my encampment. Build, and then draw a card. Um, I will draw... I'll draw the top card. Okay, now I will... Hmm. Some of these are really, really good. I'm going to use this as a resource. So develop. Trash a card in my hand. Um, trash a card in my hand. Play a card as a resource. And that slides this guy over on this turn. So that takes care of that turn. Next turn, I'm going to claim this gold. And I'm going to build my tannery. It costs one food. And the lightning bolt there says when I play it, gain a gold. That's that turn. Shift this over. Um, trying to hit 60 points, by the way. I think 60 points was like the max for, not the max for solo, but that's like the highest tier. 0 to 20, 21 to 30, etc. Um, what do I want to do next? Oh yeah, I think I was going to do that. I'm going to develop another card, which means food, food. No, I'm not. I'm going to draw, draw three. One. Uh, thieves den for two. And guard tower for three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So good. I'm I'm good there. Okay. Now I'm going to build. Oh, I can't build the thieves den yet. I don't have enough of one of the resources. But I can build the tavern. So the tavern. It costs a food and a food, and a wood and a stone. I'm excited about the tavern because it gives me an extra victory point per recruit that I have at the end of the game. Next turn, I slide all of these over, and I'm going to tax again. And I'm going to tax with headquarters. Toss that away and gain one gold. Next turn, I get access to all these gold. 
and I'm going to recruit. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'll recruit that archer for two gold. Okay. His ability is to draw three cards when he comes into play, so I'm going to do that right now. Uh, let's take the Oracle. The ooh, Thieves Den. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Monastery. Okay. Next turn is go I'm going to recruit. Well, I can't recruit the summoner yet because I don't have a wizard building or a, a holy building. So let me see if I can build one of those. Stone, stone, magic. Oh, they take so many resources. Okay, I will develop. Develop the fountain, which turns it into a magic resource. And I have to ditch a card to do that. I'm going to ditch the extra thieves den that I bought or that I drew. Next turn, I'm going to build the monastery. Um, oh, nope. Nope. I don't have enough money. So I have to get some money, which means I have to tax. I'm going to ditch the wizard's tower. It's really hard. Oh, but I get a gold every time I build it. Cloisters, gold. Guard tower. You got to go. To gain one gold. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm going to develop, or build, sorry. I'm going to build the cloister. Oh, no, I'm going to build the thieves' den. Can't build Thieves' Den. Dog on it. We don't have enough doubles. Okay, so cloister it is. Can't make up my mind. Well, my lack of resources makes up my mind. Magic, magic, food, stone. Now when I develop from now on, which I'm going to, probably gonna draw next turn, but then develop. Now when I develop a resource, I'll gain an extra gold. So that's gonna help a lot. So it's next turn, these slide over. And I'm going to harvest. Um, I don't have any harvest abilities, so I'll just harvest. Take the top one. Two. Three. Just take the top three. It's fine. Okay. Um, now it's another turn get these coins back and I'm going to can I bring the necromancer into play now yes get a draw card per thief building no I want the I want the thief or the alchemist what's the alchemist do sometimes I'm not sure as to what some of these symbols are Alchemist looks like I ditch a card for gold, but that's just like, um, that's just like tax. I wish they had a clarification for all the cards. Sorry, gang. Yeah, I'm going to call it Ditch a Card for Gold, if I do buy that Alchemist, which I think I'm going to. Two for the Alchemist. When he comes into play, I can trash a card for one gold. I'm going to trash... Trash the Harbor. Okay, now I'm going to develop, and when I develop, I gain, gain a gold. So I'm going to develop an extra food, 
I have to trash a card to do that. Trash the wizard's tower. And I gain a gold. Okay. Now I can build a thieves' den. No, I can't. I don't have enough gold. <laughs> Man, this is so hard. Like, it doesn't look like it'd be this hard, but it is this hard. This deck is running out quick, and I don't have a whole lot of points on the board. <laughs> um, I don't have any buildings that only cost three resources. So de uh, developing doesn't help me. I need to tax. I need to tax. Well, oh, I replaced this also. Let me draw three first. One, two, three. Okay, that was a little bit helpful. The armory lets me build, or the warlord lets me build armories for one resource cheaper. Smithy. Gives me a gold when I build it. So let's build it. Wood, stone, mat for the smithy. Put it in play, and when, it, when I build it, I gain a gold. Next turn, move these over, and now I'll tax while I'm waiting for that money to come back. Come in. Mmm, ditch the monastery for taxing. Next turn, I get these back. And I'm going to build a thieves' den. It costs two food, two wood, and I gain two gold when it comes into play. Next turn, slide these over. I'm going to recruit somebody. I'm going to recruit that summoner for two. He has an ability when I recruit, I gain a gold. So now they kind of cost one less a little bit. Next turn, get these back. Um, go, it's going a little better now that I have some money and I have some buildings with some abilities. Man, was that tough though, first going. Um, what do I want to do? Oh, I wanted to build this armory. So I get a free resource for that. I'll choose uh, stone, and then stone and wood builds the armory. Um, just double check and the game ends when the building draw deck is empty at the end of a turn. Okay. Because a normal game ends when you have so many cards in your city. Um, these, not these. But we're not playing a regular game. We're playing a... Solo play rules, so. Okay, the end of that turn, these slide over, or the beginning of this turn, those slide over. And I want to build the inn. Food, food, wood for the inn. It has a recruit ability. I can choose to draw two cards when I recruit. Next turn, I get these two back, but these three slide over. And I think I will recruit. I'll recruit the thief. Um, so how this works is I have to pay both gold for the thief. And then when I recruit, I get a gold. And then his ability is take one gold from any player, but in this case it's from the bank. So I really recruited the thief for free, which was really nice. Next turn, get these three back. And... What I want to do here? Can I build this? I'll try to build this oracle. Um, yeah, I can. Magic, magic, food, and wood. Magic, magic, food, wood for the oracle. It has ability when I tax, I gain two extra cards. Not that I want to do that. Um, next turn, slide these over. I want to harvest, draw three cards. Yeah, I better. Um, one, 
two, three. Okay. Next turn, get these back. One, two, three, four. Boy, I want to recruit that wizard. Okay, two, recruit the wizard. When I build, I get a free resource. That's nice. And then when I recruit with the summoner, I get gold back. So I recruit really cheap there. Um, but man, now there's some really good cards coming up. Um, I want to build a couple things real quick. I'm going to build the barracks. Or do I have barracks? I have barracks. I can't build that. I'm going to build the keep. Okay, I'll build the keep. I'm building the keep. It costs me... I get a free one and a free one so it costs me two resources i'll just do a food and a stone i get the keep when it comes into play i take a card from any player which means i have to take it from here just take it from the top um then next turn these slide over now i want to develop see i got that that so i want to develop the barracks. And when I develop, oh, I have to trash a card to do that. Trash the keep, I have an extra one. When I develop, I get a gold. Now, I'm um, going to... Well, it's next turn, so these come here. I'm going to build for the Oracle. I'm going to build the harbor. Don't have a harbor yet. I get a free resource of any, so I'll take it in uh, wood, and then I will do wood, stone, and food. And when I build, is there something when I build I get gold, or did I throw that away? I think I threw that away. And draw a card. I'll draw the mine. It's kind of nice if I can build that. Um, I think I will develop instead. I already have an oracle, so I'll develop this oracle. Oh, these slide over. I have to trash a card to do that. Oh, I trashed the mine. Oh, well. Develop, I get a coin from here. Next turn, take these three and draw three cards because I can't. Well, I could recruit. Let's recruit. Pay two for the merchant. There's one victory point at the end of the game for every um, one of these resources that I've developed. Oh, I gotta fix my camera. Hopefully that didn't. Hopefully that didn't uh, mess anything up for too long. Um, what was I doing? I was. Oh, I recruited him. Did I get my gold for recruiting? Shoot, I don't remember if I got my gold for recruiting. I guess I'll have to rewind, watch this. But I'm gonna. I think I did. I had five. Put two in. Which would give me three. I think I got it. Okay, now I'm going to recruit the mercenary, who cost me two. Put him in here. And his ability, well, one, when I recruit, I get this. And his lightning ability is I get a gold, so I got him for free. Um, okay, I'm going to draw three cards. What do I need? I want the tavern. And I want whatever this is. And I want whatever this is. Okay. So it says the game ends. Game is over when the building draw deck is empty at the end of a turn. Uh oh. That's the end of this turn. So um, I better make it count. This monk is one plus one for every, that's not enough. He's only three. 
guess I just better buy the paladin. Oh, the tavern. I already have tavern. Okay, I'll buy the paladin. For two. Get the paladin. Get one back for recruiting somebody. This goes here. All right. So, scoring. There's some tiers. 29 or less, you're terrible. 30 to 39. Well, here, let me read to you. 30, 20, 29 or less, you, your city is a wide spot in the road. Travelers don't even slow down when they pass through. 30 to 39 points, you're a one-horse town. Maybe some publicity would help. Can you rebrand yourself as the Barbara capital of Valeria? 40 to 49 points is a proud mayor. Good job, but keep trying. Maybe you'll attract a major league gladiator team someday. 50 to 59 points is a city builder. Any citizen of Valeria would be proud to call this place home. Well, except for the king and queen. Any noble would think twice. And then 60 or more points is Imperator. You've built the capital city of Valeria. So, let us see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 22, 24, 25, 28, 31, 34, 35, 36, 40, 43, 44. So now I have bonus victory points. One per thief, so I had 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. One per adventurer, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. And this guy gave me one per resource, 57 plus, I had four different resources, it's 61. So that's it. I did it. 61 points makes me Imperator, according to these rules right here. Imperator. That's right. I built the capital city of Valeria. Guys, Thanks so much for watching. I hope you could catch this live. If not, you can catch the replay later. Um, you'll also be able to see the setup rules. I had it set up today on purpose in advance. Uh, you can catch the setup video uh, shortly, maybe as early as tomorrow afternoon. You can see that on YouTube under the setup, Boardroom Gamers YouTube channel. Have a great evening. Thanks so much.